The police department will soon be blocking off several roads and alleys off of East 3rd Street. They'll do those with crime barriers. They include South Garfield, South Torrance, South Philadelphia, and South Jersey Streets. Now, police say the barriers, they hope, will help stop crime and prostitution, something they tried as well in the Five Oaks area back in the 1990s. Two News reporter Ethan Fitzgerald is asking questions about why they're making the move. Yeah, Mark, I've talked to people in both areas, some telling me these gates are needed, others telling me that this is a sign of a police state. Either way, the Dayton Police Department has the backing of the city, and these are going to go up off East 3rd only in a couple of months. From Five Oaks, where these barriers already exist. It's been really good. The traffic is really slowed down. To areas like South Jersey off 3rd Street, neighborhoods that will soon have barriers. Fortunately, they are necessary. Samuel Ewing lived in this area for two years, but that didn't last long. Uh, one of the things, if I wanted to catch the bus uh, anywhere on either side, you have to worry about being propositioned. Uh, I don't feel like being propositioned by prostitutes. It's those experiences and complaints that prompted DPD to come up with a plan to install the barriers in the coming weeks. I believe there should be freedom on, in, within a state, but I also believe that uh, you can't have lawlessness, and you have too much lawlessness in this particular area. I think anyone who has lived here or has come through the area is very much aware of that. DPD planned on blocking more streets and alleys, but after a meeting with RTA, DPS, and the Dayton Fire Department, they cut down on their plan. Walk around this neighborhood a lot. It's a plan that residents in Five Oaks say is working. It's complicated, but it's worth it. As soon as you get to know the area, it's no problem and it really slows down the traffic, which makes it a much safer place to live. The gates in Five Oaks installed in the early 90s don't look menacing, and that's something DPD is going for. Looking now into decorative barricades, obviously nobody wants eyesores in their area, as well as temporary signage that would say no outlet and stuff like that. Now, one resident here in Five Oaks told me she would not have purchased her house had these gates not came in. Now, the police department hasn't put an exact date on when these will be installed over on the east end, but it could be about two months is what they told me. Reporting live in Dayton, Ethan Fitzgerald, 2 News, working for you.